Welcome back to the channel. I have something for you. Let's watch this. Stop using file conversion websites. Here's how to do it in your terminal. If you have to convert text files like a Word file to PDF, Pandoc has an insane amount of possibilities. Just look at this graph. Just one command will do all the magic. You can make this command smaller by setting an alias. For video and audio files, FFmpeg is your best friend. Just by running one command, you can instantly convert your files. Why pay for websites when you can just do it for free? Oh, my phone is ringing. Mom, I'm recording a video. No, I, I can't talk right now. What what do you want? Oh, you want to convert a video? What for? Oh, it's a birthday video, okay? Just open the terminal. Open the terminal and download FFmpeg. What do you mean, what's a terminal? Are you start button, run. What do you mean, it's in the corner. On the corner, not, not button, bottom corner. She hang up? Well then, what's the deal here? The nice lady is saying we should use the terminal for uh, converting videos. What do you think? Actually, I think I can agree some with some of her points. Not for the same reason. Uh, most of these websites are not paid. You can just uh, upload a file and it will convert it. I I'm not gonna link any of these, you can find them. With that, you're exposing your files to a third party, you know. You upload it, who knows what they are doing with it. When you're converting something that's you just don't care about the contents, well, why wouldn't you use that? It's easy. Then, she says you can do it from the terminal. Why, why would you use the terminal? I'm asking. I mean, it's a great thing. But for the last 50 years or so, programmers are working to improve the overall UI of our devices and we're going back to the terminal. What for? And besides that, as you've seen in my previous show, that uh, most people don't know what the terminal is. We have icons and clicks and you don't, don't, don't want to use a terminal. So it's, it's already very hard to explain to some people that why do you need to convert one file format to another? Why do multiple formats exist? I don't think we should, we need to like do like the terminal. Okay, so I know it's, it, these are great tools. If you know what are you doing, you should use the terminal. Absolutely, that's the best way. But I think I need to add something to this. So if you're, uh, if you're not a coder, you just download the software and does it for you. If you a bit more challenge, you can self-host the solution. It's really not that difficult. Let's Google it together, shall we? Self-hosted file converter. See, I already Googled that. Let's take a look at the second result first. I already know what's in here. See, it's not a web app, but on Windows, fileconverter.org. What's this? Oh, they have it on the GitHub. So it's open source. And look at this. Look at this. Do you want the terminal? What for? You have this nice UI. It's gonna convert for you. Look at this. It's just perfect. You don't need more. Audio, video, image, document. Look at this. You have everything. You don't need the terminal. Come on. Let's take a look at the first result. Hmm, what's this? HR Convert 2. This is a self-hosted drag and drop file converter server. Look, nowadays many people have like media file share or whatever servers. You can probably run it there. Look, it's running PHP, whatever. Take a look at the installation instructions. What's this? Oh my God, 5 million lines. Okay, no worries. Docker image. Hmm, how about that? Shall we? Do you want to see? Let's try it. Let me spin up uh, a virtual machine. One hour later. Done. We have the server. All we need to do is run these commands. I'll clone this, go to the directory and uh, run the command. I trust the default configuration. So there it should download. Yeah, be back in a minute. Done. If all goes well, this is live now. So all I need to do is open this URL here, so you can see it there, here, boom, there we go, or self-hosted file, whatever, conversion, bing bong, how can I, what's this, I don't need the archive, no, no optical, whatever, convert, I'm on a web P. convert, where is it, oh, there it is, save, there, we have the image. It's easy. You can even do that. It's three commands. It's, it's Docker, so you can run it on your local computer. This is running here by my side. There's a server here. So it is not exposed to the outside world. I can now convert everything I want. I will leave this Docker image running 
and then just in case I need to convert and I think you can do like multiple files or whatever this isn't bad and I'm sure there are multiple many other solutions available out there this is just one of them so back to the video so what's the conclusion? The conclusion is, yeah, the terminal is absolutely fantastic to convert things, if you know what you're doing. But for most people, the terminal is the boogeyman. So you can try finding some UI tools. There are free variations of them. So yeah, that's it. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe so I can keep making videos. Have a nice one. Bye bye.